Hey guys, I'm Jada, and we are here in my home kitchen in Los Angeles. And today we're going to bake some pignoli cookies. And pignoli cookies are a very popular Southern Italian cookie. We make them all the time during the holidays. And for me, baking them reminds me of the holidays. I love baking them really the holidays, but any time of year, anytime the craving strikes. So I want to start by saying that we've done a couple things in advance. Um, I've already preheated my oven at 350 degrees. I've already lined my baking sheet with parchment paper, so that's ready to go. And I separated one egg because I'm only using egg white. These are very um, chewy, light cookies, so we're only using an egg white, and I've already separated that. And then in the food processor, I have seven ounces of almond paste, and I broke it up like this. Almond paste is sort of the sticky, almondy, uh, sugary, yumminess that we love to use in Italy to make cookies. So I've got the almond paste already in there and to that we can start making our dough. Very easy dough, very few uh, ingredients, which is probably one of the reasons that became so popular. What we're going to do is we're going to just measure out half a cup of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar and I really like to sort of pack it in there to get the right amount of sugar. And Powdered sugar or confectioner sugar has a little bit of cornstarch in it, so you could also use regular sugar with a little bit of cornstarch just to kind of absorb any of the um, humidity. Then we're going to add the one egg white right in there and half a teaspoon of lovely vanilla extract. I love to smell the vanilla extract before I use it. It's just this like rich sweetness. So I like to like smell my ingredients, taste my ingredients, just to make sure they're where they're supposed to be. And they taste the way they're supposed to be. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt, just to kind of bring out all the flavors, which is really what the salt does. Then we're gonna mix this all together. And it just takes about 30 seconds or so. So here we go. There's one little clump that just won't go away, so we're gonna do it two more seconds. Perfect. My dough looks so pretty, it's nice and creamy. All right, so first thing I wanna do, and I always try to do this for safety reasons, is I get rid of the blade, because if you stick your fingers in there, you can cut yourself with the blade. So we're gonna get rid of the blade, but we are gonna hold on to the dough. So let's get rid of the blade and the container. And we'll also get rid of this little base. So now we're left with the dough. And I've got a nice sort of plate filled with um, untoasted pine nuts because they're going to toast in the oven on the cookies. And I've got two thirds of a cup of pine nuts. I love pine nuts, they're super rich, like super rich, which I just love. If you can't find pine nuts, you could substitute with walnuts or any other nut you want. But remember, to be traditional pignoli cookies from Southern Italy, it's gotta be pine nuts. So now I've got my dough and I've got my pine nuts and I'm just gonna leave them like this. And I've got my one tablespoon measure. I've also got a little bit of water because this dough tends to get sticky. So a lot of times if you wet your fingers, it makes it easier. So we're gonna take a nice table. So you see how smooth that is? And then we're going to put it in our hands. It's pretty sticky. So if you wet your fingers, it'll make it a lot easier. And then all you do is sort of just roll it in the pine nuts. Kind of similar to um, what you do if you're breading something. So you just kind of roll it in there. And the thing I forgot to do, which you guys can do also, is to get my baking sheet over go and then we just put the cookies directly on the baking sheet just like that very sticky tacky dough because of the um, almond paste you could also use marzipan there we go there we go pinoli cookies and number two and they'll spread and they'll be slightly chewy which is great go. I like to make them roughly all the same size, which is why I'm using measure. 
little measuring spoon to do it. There we go. There we go. We used to um, make these and then we'd give them um, to our teachers as kids. That was like the teacher gift. We make it with my mom and then we'd give it to the teachers for the holidays. They weren't as popular uh, when I was a kid, so it was sort of more unique. Most, most teachers got like chocolate chip cookies and from us they would get pinoli cookies. It was really fun. The almond paste has an almond flavor. It's made of almonds and sugar. It makes the dough sticky, but it makes it taste really good. It tastes like almonds, very nutty and sweet, and um, it gives it that chewy texture. That's really what you love, what people love about it. Yes, they love the pine nuts too, but really it's that chewy texture. So if you like chewy cookies, you're gonna love these. So this recipe makes about eight to 12 cookies, uh, depending on the size of the tablespoon. I did heaping tablespoons because I like my cookies a little bigger, so I have eight. Um, so now let's pop them in a 350 degree oven and I'll see you in 16 to 18 minutes when the cookies are all baked. Hey guys, so the cookies have baked and cooled and you want to let them cool before you handle them because they are soft. And what I love to do is to give them as little gifts and I just buy little baggies and you can fill the little baggies and put them in there and then give them as little, um, as little holiday gifts to your neighbors or to a party or to your kids' teachers, which I think is really fun and unique. But you know what we should do first before we do all that is open these guys up. See how chewy they are? They just sort of open up like that. Mm. Mm. Chewy, nutty. Pine nuts on the outside, give it a nice crunch. And you see the pine nuts got all nice and toasted. So they are rich and decadent and the perfect, in my opinion, holiday cookie. And I hope that these will become some of your new favorites as well.